السلام عليكم ولكم تو ناين بي ام انجلش نيوز اديشن ذا هالاندز دوزو ذا هالاندز انا ولكم تو ذا ناشونال نيوز ذا برايم مينستر عبد الكريم محمد and the delegation accompanying including the ambassador of Jordan. The Prime Minister has participated the Italy-African summit. For international cinema meeting in Paris on ceasefire. Sorry, hey, those were the Hellenists, and welcome to the National Head News. The Prime Minister, Abdelkam Kam Mohammed, and the delegation accompany him, including the Ambassador of Djibouti in Paris, and Italy, and Ayat Mousset took part this morning, Monday, January 29, 2024, in the Italy Africa Summit at the headquarters and of the Italian Senate in Rome at the Medium Place, a historic place and pillar of power in Italy. This summit called Italy Africa. A prize for common growth was honored by a large participation of African heads of state and of government governing bodies of the African Union as well as several international organizations. So, and during the various uh, intervention, it was highlighted that uh, uh, the Metro Plan for Africa is an excellent programmatic platform open to discussion with African uh, protagonists. Uh, the President of the African Union and the various President and Head of the Government participate in this much will commit uh, this uh, platform uh, paradigm achieve in the file of partnership uh, with Africa that uh, the uh, Italian leadership is uh, proposing for a Legal, literary, and, uh, and just development, which is uh, uh, fundamentally uh, recognizing that, that Africa, what uh, uh, what is uh, with uh, its uh, natural resource and the uh, potential uh, of its uh, human resources, they do not uh, need aid, uh, but uh, fear of uh, an egalitarian and uh, balancing uh, partnership. African leaders welcome it, uh, uh, this uh, partnership useful useful uh, to all. So uh, the Prime Minister, uh, in a speech, Abdul Mohammed delivered a speech in which he addressed the importance of the uh, of this uh, in summit. He said, we are flowing the summit of African countries. I wanted to hear you from you about the preoccupation of this Mediterranean immigration, uh, focused on um, improving the attention of European media, including the Republic of Djibouti, the country's corner in Africa, is part of the country uh, touched by the immigration uh, when transit is paid to the destination, uh, plus 12,000 tra transmigrate uh, what uh, payment are made into uh, which when the Arabic uh, uh, Venezuela pay uh, country in the search of policy, uh, better economic opportunity more than uh, 12 million plus 15% uh, uh, migrant women and 25% of children aged 11 to 15 years uh, in our country. Uh, the force uh, is the destroyer uh, that the catastrophe are naturally a uh, conflict in repair, uh, climate change and degradation. The environment uh, in the origin of the population is a uh, movement in this uh, country more uh, documents. Uh, in this year uh, we have a situation in which immigration uh, and uh, more are connected. Uh, this uh, national uh, strategy for migration span to this uh, objective attain and uh, symbolize the famous volume of our uh, creation engagement to help us write about uh, more about our sense uh, addition to a global big age. Uh, the migration of the international conference in Mac in 2018, it also a volume of our government in a place of politics and the structure that allow you to perform a migratory maintenance, a security, and a perfect confirm and respect use of the human dignity. 
The Minister of Justice and her Prison, her Service in Charge of Human Rights, received the Acting Prime Minister Mr. Ali Hassan Bahadon this Tuesday morning. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Mr. Adel bin Abdul Rahman Al Zumi, who is one of welcoming visit to our country. The two officials discussed a number of files of common interest, especially aspects of existing cooperation between Arab and Parliament and the Jewish and the Parliament, and ways to NC hete with a border and more comprehensive horizon. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Mr. Adel bin Abdul Rahman Al Zumi, praised the effort of Jabudi in strengthening and stabilizing the security of the region and its support for Arab issues. He also expressed his desire to strengthen relations between Arab Parliament and the National Assembly of Jabudi. The Minister of Justice and Prison Service and in charge of human rights present the acting Prime Minister. Mr. Al Hassan Bahdone extended in his sincere thanks and appreciated to this to the Speaker of the Arab Parliament and for his visit, stressing the importance of the of coordination and consultation between Arab Parliament in order to initiate the Arab action. So, under the uh, patronage of the Speaker of the House uh, Representative, uh, Mr. Delita Mohammed Delita, so the Minister uh, of Defense also received the Acting Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Ali Hassan Bahadon, the Libyan uh, Ambassador in Tuburi, of friendly uh, visit. Uh, the two officially uh, discuss a number of topics of common interest, especially advising existing political relations uh, between the two uh, countries. Under the patronage uh, of the Speaker of the House uh, of Representatives, Mr. Delita, Mohammed Delita, a platform related uh, workshop was held. A uh, crowd in uh, is dedicated to Djibouti and its uh, financing uh, platform uh, that uh, allows investment in startup campaigns in the country today, Tuesday, January 13. He participated in this workshop, which was organized by the National House of Representatives and the Fine Sovereign Djibouti. Uh, uh, this workshop was uh, pro, uh, Dr. Salim Al Frani and his close uh, aides uh, and official from the National House of Representatives with the aim of raising the level of awareness among people. The people of Djibouti are existed about the opportunity provided by this innovative platform and initiative. The Director General of the Sovereignty Fund of Djibouti, Dr. Salim Hevertani, and gave a speech and noting that this platform is the first of its kind in the country, he said. In his speech, the Speaker of the House of Mr. Delita Mohammed Delita, highlighted the importance of this platform. It's a great offer for financing a small project. The economy file of Djibouti saw Delita Mohammed Delita, the President of the Parliament, say that today we are open a platform that provides a new economy opportunity and we are calling on the Development Fund Sustainable Initiative to present this initiative. And now we follow Dr. Frenny's speech. The Parliament President had later Mohammed the later continue speech say uh, that he stressed uh, the importance of this uh, uh, 
First project for the sovereignty and finance this is a step in the development impact on the national economy. The platform is a revolutionary platform designed to strengthen a connection between project leaders and entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, innovators, and investors. It aims to become a social tool for economic development in Djibouti, thus facilitating access to financing and professional support for startups and this also this foundation reflected the strong and commitment of national uh, representation to the benefit of the private sector it represents a step towards achieving vision 2035 uh, falling uh, consistent with uh, the aspiration of growth and innovation and now we follow uh, dr Efrani's uh, speech At the crowdfunding firm uh, called Inclufin, which is for financial inclusion, Inclusion Financière, Inclufin, and it's the first crowdfunding uh, company in Djibouti. We're delighted to be pioneers at the Southern Wealth Fund to launch companies like this to make the difference, uh, to create uh, obviously innovation. Uh, crowdfunding uh, is vital in many, many economies around the world, in the developed economies, but also in about 10 African countries. Today, uh, a few billion dollars have been raised via crowdfunding, or what is referred to as alternative finance alternative mainly to the traditional financial system uh, being uh, commercial banks or being uh, stock markets or being uh, bond markets uh, so the alternative finance includes crowdfunding it's one of the means it's uh, a crowd that brings financing or funding that's what it's all about it's two parts of a word which is an anglo-saxon word and uh, what the main impact will be is mainly to help entrepreneurs in Djibouti young entrepreneurs and not so young uh, and startups so mainly to boost the private sector this one in a crucial coordination meeting took place here uh, had the central clear printing uh, together several ministerial directory in Vavite, a key area of human capital the main objective was uh, to discuss uh, the conclusion and uh, recommendation of the report on human capital the participation of minister uh, concerning with human capital in particular in the uh, sector of education health and social affairs work uh, but also basic social infrastructure investing in education and vocational training and uh, offer increased economic opportunities for individual and community uh, thereby reducing social economy disparity and vulnerability to poverty likewise uh, ensuring adequate access to healthy care contribute to a healthier and more a productive population stimulating their economic growth and poverty reduction. So in her speech for two of all thank Modial underline and the importance of this area of a as a fundamental pillar of social development and the fight against poverty. The Minister uh, of Finance, uh, KKT, uh, the importance uh, to strengthen uh, human capital, uh, strengthening uh, cooperation between relevant uh, ministry and implementing integrated uh, policy that holistically host address uh, challenges related to education, uh, health, social affairs, access to infrastructure, and basic social services is uh, necessary. Say. A ceremony to celebrate India's Republic Day was organized last night at Chabuti Place, a Kambeski by the India Impezi, the people of India, on the occasion of the Republic Day. India's constitution continues to provide an enduring framework for the world's largest democracy and the foundation for its global leadership. Uh, this ceremony uh, was chaired by uh, uh, the Indian ambassador to Djibouti, uh, Sixth uh, Ramachandran, uh, Chandra Moli, and so the participation of the guests from brands such as the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the uh, Energy Minister Yunus Al Gedi and the Secretary of State for Investment, uh, Safiya Mohammed Ali. The call for a ceremony uh, was a unique opportunity to appreciate Indian culture with uh, traditional dance and music.
पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दी जिबूती इंडिया बिजनेस फोरम वॉज साइमलटेनियसली लॉन्च इन जिबूती एंड न्यू डेली वी विल अज द बिजनेस मैन फ्रॉम बोथ साइड टू यूज दिस फोरम इफेक्टिवली to advance our economic and commercial ties our bilateral trade has already crossed a billion dollar mark last year but mainly the forum will help to bring indian investments into djibouti india is also quite prepared to assist djibouti in whatever way possible as per djibouti's needs and requirements the honorable minister of energy in charge of natural resources his excellency mr yunis ali uh, gedi has visited india a few times last uh, few times before the last being in end october early november for the 6th uh, general assembly of the international solar alliance he will be again visiting india to participate in the india energy week in february i do hope that the bilateral ties in the energy sector will get strengthened in future Uh, no, uh, let's listen to uh, the speech of the Foreign Minister in Djibouti, Mr. Uh, Mahmoud uh, Yusuf Ali. Your Excellencies, Djibouti and India share a lot of commonalities due to historic trade and cultural exchanges. Throughout history, Indian culture, food and clothing habits have immensely influenced our own culture. Till today, we can see very obvious external signs of those influences. Beyond that, I believe that our two countries have continued, continuously built strong partnerships because we belong to the same maritime trade route and have the same challenges to overcome. The safety and freedom of navigation is indispensable in order to safeguard global trade for the benefit of all nations. Djibouti is an open and a liberal country whose ambition is to become a regional logistic hub. We're working to attract Indian investors and companies to this part of Africa. Yes, the potential in the Horn of Africa is enormous. However, There is no doubt that our region is struggling with daunting challenges and Djibouti, as chair of IGAD, is spearheading a dynamic culture of peace and stability in the region. The minister, the summon was inaugurated by the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, and the Minister of City, Airplane Planning and Housing, Amin Abdi Adam, and President of the Djibouti Chamber of Commerce, Yusuf Musa Dawali, yesterday, Monday, 29th, 2024, at the Mihinati um, Sectoral Vocational Training Center. Construction of public works. Uh, many businessmen uh, from the construction of public works sector participate in the ceremony in addition to the process of the World Bank. It said uh, the second uh, center in series of eight centers uh, that will people uh, in Djibouti uh, see as a result of a long process of cooperation between the, the city ministry and the city planning and housing ministry edition and the Djibouti of uh, Chamber of Commerce. In fact, it was appealed by the Ministry of City, uh, European Planning and Housing uh, and our duty to the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training to prepare a qualified workforce that meets the needs of the uh, market in the construction and public works sector. So, uh, in his speech, the president of the Djibouti uh, Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Yusuf Musa Dawali, uh, said that uh, integration of the center is an important uh, step. For her part, also, uh, the Minister of City, Ms. Amina uh, Abdi Adam, noted that the integration uh, 
question uh, of this city is long overdue. Uh, she said that uh, they will work in construction and public works, uh, campaign, uh, technical design, office and engineering campaign, and large uh, architectural society and campaign. To ensure a practical vision focus on the reality on the ground, uh, the sector uh, center will be managed by a triberty committed committee composed the Ministry of Education and Ministry of City and European and also uh, in uh, the private sector to provide guidance and create a real uh, dialogue among the stakeholders with the aim of financial accountability between the skills development development and really a needs in the file. Then the Minister of National Education, Vocational Training, take, uh, training uh, take the floor and say that this sector uh, center represents a major step in our national development strategy skills. It provides young people and workers with high quality vocational training that meet the highest standard in the sector construction and public works. And then uh, to his training, our leaders will be equipped with the necessary skill to access a good jobs and that's a contribute to the economic growth of our country. We recognize that the construction and public works sector plays a critical role in Djibouti's development, he said the minister. The president of the Constitutional Council, Mr. Abdel Hesmail Hersi, participated in the work of the 16th section uh, to the Executive Bureau of the African Constitutional Judicial Conference held recently uh, to, in the Morocco capital, Rabat. The open section of the conference uh, was shared by the president of the uh, Constitutional Court of the Kingdom of Morocco, uh, president of the Conference African Constitutional Court, Mr. Mohamed Amin bin Abdel in the presence uh, of a number of main constitutional judiciary, including head of the Council and Supreme uh, Court in Africa countries. So uh, during the conference, the decision, uh, the decision taken by the General Assembly uh, were discussed uh, with many, uh, mainly aimed to uh, bring uh, together and unified African constitutional judicial uh, bodies uh, charged with uh, ensuring uh, respect of the, for the constitution uh, in one African uh, space. The meeting was uh, discussed uh, by the adoption of the financial report uh, of this party as well as flow up the implementation uh, of the decision issues about the conference uh, body uh, in coordination with the study of the criminal justice uh, committee with the aim of the establishment of court of Africa in common continental uh, space. So, uh, no, uh, the family of the Abdurrahman uh, Abshir Mahmoud uh, is looking uh, for uh, their son uh, Abdurrahman uh, Abshir Mahmoud, uh, born in 2010 in Belbela. Uh, this family is asking, however, uh, fans, uh, the young child Abdurrahman uh, Abshir uh, Mahmoud uh, to contact them on this uh, number uh, 7763 uh, uh, or Holden Policy Station uh, 2136 uh, and of international uh, scene, uh, the French capital uh, Paris hosted a uh, meeting in which Israel and the United States participated uh, Qatar and Egypt uh, to discuss a possible drive agreement that uh, integrated the proposals of Israel and Hamas regarding uh, the lateral ease uh, detained in the Gaza Strip. The drive agreement is based on Israel's freeze for its uh, two-month uh, war on Gaza in exchange for the release uh, of more than uh, 100 Israel states uh, through the two states. That's it for this edition. Thanks for your attention and have a wonderful evening.